What's up guys, my name is Caleb. This is Spare Time at Home. This class is dumbbells only, full upper body. You ready? Let's get going. All right, everybody. So we're gonna start off the workout with a warm up. So if you don't have like a PVC pipe or a dowel, grab your broomstick, untwist it, and you're good to go. This is all you're gonna need for the warm up. For the workout, you're just gonna need a pair of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can literally use anything you have at home. Pair of cans, you can grab a backpack and transition it into like movements. You can use whatever you have at home that has weight to it. So we're gonna start our warm up off just with this dowel and we're gonna go overhead and we're gonna bring behind our body and bring it forward. And we're gonna do this a couple times, maybe five or 10 times. And all we're trying to do is warm up our shoulders. For the warm up, we're trying not to waste a lot of energy, but we wanna make sure that we get really, really warm and get some movement in, especially since we've just been at home all the time. <laughs> After this, we're gonna go around the world. So we're gonna bring one side across our body and go to the other side. And we'll switch sides. Feel free to do this as many times as you feel you need to get warm. We're gonna try both sides. If you feel like a knot on one side, feel free to spend more time on that side. If this hurts you to do, don't go all the way overhead, you can even just stop here and move your body across just to get some movement in is all you really need. So after this, we're gonna bring the, uh, the dowel overhead, bring our arms to about a 90 degree. We're gonna bring it in nice and close to our chest and then push up. We'll do this about five to 10 times as well. We're just again trying to warm up our shoulders, our upper body. We're gonna be working everything upper body today. After this, we're going to try to stretch our back out a little bit. So we're just going to grab the dowel and bend over and let our arms dead hang. We want to round our back a little bit. And then we're going to bring our back nice and flat. I'm squeezing my traps. I'm going to extend again. Again, straighten the back, squeeze the traps and the lats. And then come back down. We'll do that one more time. And then we'll relax. Good, so now you can put this off to the side. You're not gonna need this anymore for right now. Next, we're gonna do some big arm circles. Big arm circles forward. Do about five, 10 again for each of these exercises for our warm up. And then we'll go in reverse. Now I know we've been at home and not a lot of stimulation to the brain maybe, so we're gonna try to go one arm forward and one arm back. <laughs> if you can't do that, it's all right. Try the other side, one arm forward, one arm back. Warm up our body and our mind today. <laughs> now we're gonna go across the body, try to stretch out the chest and the back. About five to 10 repetitions on each side. And now you can relax, you'll feel your shoulders burning a little bit and that's okay. All right, next, we're gonna go onto the ground into a push-up position. So if you, for your warm up, if push ups are already really hard for you, you can start on your knees. To do a knee push up properly, most people have to see them done with their hips up like this and they'll press down. This doesn't really do too much. So to do a proper knee push up, we want our hips to be flat and our back to be flat like this. Then we can go into a knee push up like this. If this is too hard for you, you can grab a chair or a couch or anything to elevate your hands and then do your push-up and that'll make it a lot easier but for our warm-up sake we're just going to go into our push-ups we're going to rep out about five to ten repetitions just to get our chest triceps and shoulders all warmed up all right that's good next exercise for our warm-up we're going to go into a plank on our hands and feet. So hands and feet just like this. Back is flat like so. And all I'm gonna do is touch my shoulder, touch my shoulder. This is called shoulder taps. Okay. Again, five to 10 repetitions on each side is plenty. Warming up our core, our shoulders, our wrists. And relax, good. So now you're gonna go through all of those exercises again one more time, one full round, all right? So again, starting with the dowel. Overhead, behind the back. 
You'll probably feel a lot more loose this time around. Already breaking sweat. <laughs> and again, we're gonna go around the world. About five to 10 repetitions. Again, feel free to spend more time on one side as you need. From here, we're gonna bring this overhead. We're going into pushes now. So push all the way up and come back down. See, my hands are about 90 degrees. We don't want them way out here. We don't want them way inside. We want our wrists to be lined up with our elbows before we press. About five to 10 repetitions until you feel good. Then you can put this down. We're gonna to turn to the side. Arms hang nice and low. Round the back. Straighten the back out. Squeeze the traps. Squeeze the lats. And relax. We'll do it again. And relax. Nice big dead hang. One more time. And relax. Good. Now you won't need this at all for the rest of the workout. We're all done with it. Put it away. Starting with arm circles to finish this off for our warm up. Our big arm circles forward. And big arm circles back. You go one forward and one back. Try the other side, one forward and one back. And relax, shake them off. Cross the body now. Almost done with the warm up. And relax, very good. Onto the ground, we got push ups and then shoulder taps, and that's it. So we're gonna go about five push ups. Show you on the feet now. Back is flat. As many as you feel you need to get warm. If you're already really tired, don't do as many. Okay, into the shoulder taps. And relax, very good. Now you can grab some water, take a little breather, take about a minute, and then we'll come back to the workout. All right guys, so for the workout, what we're gonna be doing are a couple different supersets. So at home, it's much harder to make workouts and resistance training workouts much harder than you have equipment at the gym. So to do this, kind of raise the intensity, we're gonna add in supersets. So superset is essentially one exercise right after another without any rest in between. So the first two exercises are gonna be push-ups and dumbbell rows. So I'll demonstrate a push-up really quickly. Getting to a push-up position, we don't want our elbows to flare out to the sides. So I'll show you from the front. We don't want this to happen. Now this can hurt our shoulders a lot. It doesn't really do much for us. Instead, we wanna tuck our elbows from this position down just a little bit. So they're in between our body and out wide, right in the middle. And that's a great position for a push-up. So it'll look like this. All right, so that's the push-up, the dumbbell row. You're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells, or again, anything you have at home. You're gonna bend over at the hips, chest is gonna face the ground, and then you're just gonna do two rows, just like this. And what I'm trying to do is pull my elbows up, and you can try to get your hand, your dumbbell, up to your pocket. This position. This lets you know that you're in a good position for the row. So I'm trying to squeeze my back as I come up, keep my back nice and flat, and then extend my arms all the way down. So those are our two exercises. We're gonna start off with the push-ups, go right into the rows, and then we get to rest. So we're gonna be doing three sets of 10 repetitions per exercise, starting with the push-ups, and then right into the rows. Here we go. Without any rest, I'm gonna go right into the rows, 10 repetitions. And 
time. Now you get to rest about 30 seconds or so in between. The purpose of not resting in between the exercises is again, just to increase that intensity a little bit more. So rest for just a second. If you want to increase the, the weights, if you have higher dumbbells, go ahead and do that. If not, you can stick with whatever equipment you have. So we'll get ready for the push-ups again. If you need to make it easier, feel free to go to your knees or elevate your hands. Right into those rows. Right now we're working our chest and our back, biceps and our triceps. And relax, that's two sets down. We got one more to go. Hopefully everyone's doing well. <laughs> These exercises and these workouts can be super exhausting. So you can get a great workout in at home. I'm gonna demonstrate facing forward this time for our push-ups. This is our last set, 10 repetitions per exercise. right into these dumbbell rows, last set. And relax, awesome job. That was the first superset down. Grab a sip of water and we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the second superset that we're gonna be doing. Again, a superset is one exercise right after the other without any rest. So this is a shoulder superset. So you can grab your dumbbells or cans or whatever you got. Sit back into a chair, couch, whatever it might be. Bring these dumbbells overhead, starting with our wrists above our elbows. So we don't wanna be out here. We don't wanna be in here. Wrists right on top of the elbows. Press overhead. Bring the dumbbells together and then come back down. Nice and slow and controlled movements here. So we're aiming for 10 to 15 repetitions. Anywhere in that range is going to be great. And relax, good. Now, we're gonna put those dumbbells off to the side. And we're gonna go into one of the exercises we did in our warm up, which is our shoulder taps. So the shoulder tap is on the ground in a plank position. And from here, all you're gonna do is touch one shoulder, bring your hand back down, touch the other shoulder. So you can set a timer if you'd like and try to go for like 30 to 45 seconds, or you can aim for about 20 total taps. Here we go. And relax, you should feel your shoulders burning, your core nice and tight. You should be out of breath like I am. <laughs> All right, you get to rest for just a second. Take a little breather. Get yourself set up if you want to grab heavier weights. And in between each superset, you get to rest for just a second. In between the exercises, try to have as little rest as possible. All right, here we go. Second round, overhead shoulder press. Again, remember, we want those wrists to be stacked on top of the shoulders, not way out to the sides.
anywhere between 10 and 15 repetitions for three sets. Right into those shoulder taps now. Face forward on this one. This is one of the exercises. If it's too hard, you can go onto your knees as well, which is really great. set to go. Take a little breather. Grab some water if you need it. We've got one more set. This is our third set, our second super set. After this, we have one more set of exercises to finish off our shoulders, our biceps, and our triceps. All right, here we go. Third set, third and final set. Very good. Anywhere between 10 and 15 repetitions is fantastic. Last exercise in this superset, we got shoulder taps. Show you on your knees, if you're gonna do them, again, you want the back to be flat and then go into your taps. We don't wanna be up here and have our hips up in the sky. All right, here we go. job. That was the second superset. Grab some water, take about a minute, and then we'll come back for the last superset. All right, guys, this is the last superset. It's actually called a triple set or tri set, and it's three exercises back to back to back without any type of rest in between or as little as possible. This is a great tri set working the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps. This one will burn really, really well and hurt a lot, but it's going to be great for you, right? So try to push through. This is a great way to finish off an upper body workout. The first one we're doing is called a lateral raise. This is one of the best exercises you can do for your shoulders. So all I'm going to do is raise these out to the side and then bring them back down. So I don't need to go any higher. I don't need to go up here. All I want to go up to is about my shoulder height. And if you can see, I have a slight bend in my arms. They're not completely locked out like this. So it'll look something like this. Arms are slightly bent and come back down. Leading with my elbows, okay? I wanna to try to keep my elbows and the dumbbells in one line. So we don't want this to happen and we don't want this to happen. All right. That is the dumbbell lateral raise. After that, we're gonna go into a bicep curl. So palms are gonna be up, dumbbells at your side, and we're just gonna curl. And then we'll come back down. You can do these standing, you can do these uh, seated on a chair, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're gonna do them standing. Okay, bicep curl, pretty easy. The third exercise we're doing is called a skull crusher. So you're gonna lay down on the ground, grab your dumbbells, be careful with this one. Starting up with our hands to the sky, and we're gonna bring these dumbbells down basically to our temple or our skull. Hence why they're called Skull crushers. So don't drop the weights. Try to keep your elbows pointed forward. We don't want them out to the sides. We want them pointed forward. And we're just gonna extend the arms. Keep bringing our elbows in relatively the same position. Extend the arms. This is our tricep exercise, dumbbell skull crushers. All right, so we're gonna count that as our first set. We're gonna go through two more sets of that tricep, starting with the dumbbell lateral raises. So we're gonna go for 12 repetitions of each exercise. So it'll look like this. Doing them at this pace, I can already feel it in my shoulders. You don't need a lot of weight with these, as long as you have really, really good control. Whew. 
Right after that, we'll just let our shoulders rest for just a second, take a breath, and then go into our bicep curls. You're going to feel your shoulders during this time, even while you're doing bicep curls. That's okay. Right onto the ground, into our skull pressures. 12 repetitions of these as well. You can see I'm coming a little bit past my head on some of the repetitions, and that's okay. If you feel like you need a bigger stretch, you can even go all the way down to the ground and then come back up. And we're aiming for about 12 repetitions, if we can get to it, on each of these exercises. All right, that is the second set, second round. Take a breather, we got one more round to go of that tri-set, and then we'll be all finished with our full upper body workout. Hopefully you guys are keeping up. Here we go, this is the last round of this set. I can already feel my shoulders burning. Here we go. And relax, shake the shoulders out. Trying to get into the bicep curls now. If you want to switch things up, you can go into a hammer curl, which is essentially the same type of deal as a bicep curl, except your palms are facing you, just like this, instead of this position. All right, feel free to try out any variation of bicep curls. The exercises will still work in sequence like this. And again, we're aiming for about 12 repetitions, or until you just can't go anymore. <laughs> Last exercise, skull pressures, laying flat on the ground. These are working our triceps, a little bit of our shoulders, and even a little bit of our chest. Again, I'm trying to keep those elbows pointed forward the whole time. If they come out to the sides at all, it's not going to be a huge deal. You're just not going to feel them in the triceps as much. So we want to try to keep those elbows pointed forward as much as we can. <sighs> All right. Woo. Made it through. That was the dumbbell only full upper body workout. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. My shoulders are burning, my arms are burning. Hopefully you guys got a great workout. We'll see you next time.